As we wait for the arrival of the company's first ever solar electric vehicle, maybe this year, we would like to use this opportunity to welcome you to yet another coverage on the functions and design setup of Aptura Windows. Together, let's investigate this matter. In the meantime, while we wait for the Aptura Solar EV, let me to share some window details with you. We are all aware of Aptura's preference for a small set of door windows, which they claim are necessary for aerodynamic efficiency. Yeah, right is what this auto cynic thinks, so prove it. Aptura has a penchant for using odd features that are loud and obnoxious, such as strap door knobs that are difficult to reach and so on. As a result, I saved this information in my head till a later time, and later came today, while I was sitting indoors, watching the first snowfall of 2024 with a contented cat sitting on my lap. I had the internet on while I was watching Aging Wheels, and Robert Dunn examine a Japan K automobile that was manufactured around the 1970s called the Akozam AZ-01. This extremely small gas vehicle is equipped with the gold wing doors, which the Aptura resorted to calling broken gold wing doors, as well as the same crank-style low side windows. At highway speeds, Robert Dunn lauded the minuscule window that was present. By paraphrasing, he stated that these were quiet, there was no wind noise, and other such things when they were opened at highway speeds the most aerodynamic windows ever manufactured. So now we are able to know how the windows of the Aptura will sound, or more accurately, how they will not sound when they are being used. Now, all that is required of us is the Aptura Solar to demonstrate the reality of the situation, while we wait for manufacturing to begin at some point during this year. The open function of the window interface loads a certain resource into a new or existing browsing context, that is, a tab, a window, or an iframe under a particular name. This type of browsing context can be new or existing. Nevertheless, before we proceed, if you are enjoying this briefing, we would appreciate if you would kindly support this channel by loving it and clicking on the like and subscribe button that is located below. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates as they are uploaded. I am grateful to you. It's time to get going. The URL or path of the resource that is going to be loaded is indicated by a string value. In the event that this option is not supplied or an empty string is specified, a blank page will be opened within the context of the intended browsing procedure. To define the name of the browsing context that the resource is being loaded into, a string that does not contain any white space is required. A whole new context is created and given the name that was requested in the event that the name does not identify an already existing context. There is also the possibility of utilizing the special target keywords, which include underscore self, underscore blank, underscore parent, underscore top, and underscore unfenced top. In the context of fence frames, underscore unfenced top is only applicable. A string that contains a list of window characteristics that are separated by commas, and given the form name equals value. For Boolean features, the string just contains the name. Options such as the default size and position of the window, whether or not to open a basic pop-up window, and other similar functions are included in these aspects of the software. It is possible to select from the following options. When this feature is activated, it makes a request that a pop-up window with a minimal size be utilized. The user interface, UI, components that are included in the pop-up window will be determined automatically by the browser and in most cases, the pop-up window will merely contain an address bar. If pop-up is not enabled, and there are no window features declared, the new browsing context will be a tab. This configuration is the default. It is possible that you are asking this question about the Aptera EV and the window function at this point in time. Whether or not does opening the windows or turning on the air conditioning in an electric vehicle like the Aptera incur a lower amount of electricity consumption. And now, I will tell you what you need to know. When it comes to electric vehicles, opening the windows typically results in a lower amount of electricity consumption compared to turning on the air conditioning. ACC. When you open the windows, the aerodynamic drag causes a tiny increase in the amount of energy that the automobile consumes. However, this increase is typically less than the amount of energy that is required to run the air conditioner, which is used to chill the air. The increased aerodynamic drag that results from open windows, on the other hand, can have a more significant impact on the amount of energy that is consumed when traveling at greater speeds. When deciding whether to open the windows or turn on the air conditioner, it is essential to take into account the level of comfort and safety that you desire. 
after Aptera unveiled the launch edition of its three-wheeled solar electric car in January 2023 and admitted that it needed more capital to start production. The company moved on to start the crowdfunding campaign and says that it raised more than $2 million just in the last few days. While we anticipate the coming into production of Aptura's first ever solar electric vehicle and have details of its window function, we will like to continuously update you on the fact that after Aptura unveiled the launch edition of its three-wheeled solar electric vehicle, we will continue to keep you updated on their progress. Anyone who invests more than $10,000 has the opportunity to be considered for one of Aptura's first 2,000 vehicle reservation slots. In the month of March 2023, Aptura made the announcement that it has placed a pre-order with Sustainability Sooner for 101 of its solar-powered electric automobiles. The transaction is estimated to be worth $3.35 million. Initially, it was planned that production would begin before to the year 2023 coming to a close. The California Energy Commission CEC, awarded the company a grant of $21 million in March, which was intended to provide financial assistance to the company's operations in the manufacturing of components and vehicles. At this same moment, however, the firm has announced that it will put the recently acquired cash into the initial phases of production. After production intent vehicles have been validated, the firm continues, the final step is to raise capital for the sourcing of tooling and equipment for high-volume production. This is the final step, according to Chris McCammon, who serves as the community and content manager for Aptera. The Aptera community is full of pioneers, dreamers, and those who challenge the status quo. When the market was in a downward trend, other electric car startups were having difficulty, and the few other solar electric vehicle firms that were already in existence vanished. We were aware that this must not be our story. In collaboration with our enthusiastic community, we are in the process of constructing a solar-powered vehicle that will be for the people and by the people. It has been stated by Aptera that the launch edition will have a range of 400 miles and will be fitted with 700 watts of solar energy. It is anticipated that the latter will allow the vehicle to go around 40 miles on solar energy on a daily basis. When we first launched Aptera as a solar mobility company, we were amazed by the overwhelming support from thousands of prospective Aptera owners, says Chris Anthony, who is also the co-founder and co-chief executive officer of Aptera. With over 46,000 people who have reserved a spot, we are committed to securing the remaining funds that are necessary for the construction of our solar electric vehicle in a high-volume production capacity. At the very least, the initial inability to market will be a significant plus. On the second piece, they will be able to make effective use of the experience they obtained from the previous attempt. Failure is never enjoyable, but in the long run, it may be a very powerful motivation. Thousands of individuals have faith in the dream, and they are confident that they will succeed this time. The trip that Aptera has been on throughout the initial funding rounds all the way up till the most current campaign has been a journey. The funds have been utilized well, and we are beginning to see vehicles that are ready for manufacturing on the horizon. Done, both in terms of the concept and the implementation. Long live solar-powered automobiles and the people who were responsible for making them possible. To get to production, the owners of Apteras are wasting an excessive amount of time. Every day that passes before production, money is lost due to excessive overhead costs. On a regular basis, I find myself wondering how much capital is being consumed by salaries, which can be put into the production of the Aptera. All I can do is wait for the declaration of bankruptcy, which will put an end to all of our ambitions of being able to acquire an Apteras, restart the process of creating the automobile. That will be the point at which we will conclude this briefing for the time being. I am grateful that you made the time to watch. We are looking forward to having you join us in the upcoming video.